Hi, I'm Dr. Francisco Contreras. I'm a surgical oncologist, and I want to briefly talk to you about cancer of the pancreas. The pancreas is a gland that we have right under our stomach, and it's surrounded by the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum. This gland has two different types of activities. It produces hormones like insulin and glucagon to control our metabolism, but it also produces a number of digestive enzymes to help with the uh, uptake of the food that we consume. These type of uh, cancers that are arising from the pancreas can be varied, but the most common is adenocarcinoma of the pancreas. Although there are ductal carcinomas of the pancreas, they are quite rare. We are afraid of this type of cancer because about 38,000 uh, Americans are diagnosed with it every year and about 34,000 die every year. But let me tell you that due to new developments, we have very effective treatment now against carcinoma of the pancreas. The typical signs and symptoms of carcinoma of the pancreas is loss of weight without wanting to or without dieting and uh, pain in the abdomen. And it's a, it can be a very stabbing pain, very uh, severe pain that uh, can go around one side of the abdomen or completely as a belt. Another uh, sign and symptom uh, can be jaundice because of the location of the pancreas, it can press on the bile ducts and then the bile cannot get into the small intestine and thus provoking jaundice. A cancer of the pancreas, like every other cancer, can be staged from one to four, and uh, most of the patients are going to be diagnosed uh, usually in the latter uh, stages. Yet, the possibility of treatment, even in stage four cancer of the pancreas, can be very effective. So, cancer of the pancreas does not mean that it is a death sentence, because there's uh, very, very useful and effective therapies against this type of cancer nowadays. One of the reasons for the failure in the treatment of cancer, in my opinion, is not technical but philosophical. At the Oasis of Hope Hospital, we rather provide our patients with res resources at the physical, emotional, and spiritual level for them to fight their cancers rather than us destroying tumors. Our main objective is to provide our patients with quality of life over an indefinite period of time with integrative therapies that will help us achieve this goal. So our philosophy is based on two pillars. First, do no harm, and second one, love your patient as you love yourself. Many of the conventional therapies, while effective, destroy the quality of life, and that is not what the patient wants. So we will provide therapies that will enhance quality of life and will prolong life to our patients. I'm very excited about the results that we are having with our integrative approach against cancer of the pancreas. Generally, in the statistics, you will find that 5%, only 5% of patients survive five years, while at the Oasis of Hope, it's closer to 30%. And the reason for that is that we use a combination of alternative and uh, conventional therapies to provide our patients with longevity and quality. If you're interested in the specifics about our treatment against cancer of the pancreas, please follow the link below or continue reading our webpage. The second thing that you can do is uh, schedule a free consultation with myself or one of my assistants. Remember that if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. And that's why we have developed for you the Oasis of Hope Cancer Battle Plan. This is a tool that you can download for free from our website that includes uh, several videos, a uh, workbook, and an ebook that will give you information on what plan of action you need to take in order to control or beat your cancer.